Manchester City. There's the cut back to David Silva. Burton bodies back now. Is it going to be enough? Touched on by De Bruyne. He's on back four and defended the Sane cross really well. And it comes De Bruyne with the header. Inside five minutes, Manchester City strike the first blow in this Carabao Cup semi-final. And it's a headed goal from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, this is the big problem City give you those attacking midfielders making late runs into the penalty area. It's not the centre for Jesus on the end of it. It's De Bruyne again getting in between defenders. That's key in why he's able to score the goal. And then they have to get closer to him when he's breaking forward. He's in the penalty area. You have to get closer to him. And getting in between defenders. That's exactly what De Bruyne does and, and scores. Left back didn't appreciate that forward runner De Bruyne. Gundogan. First of many, said the headline in uh, Clothing. Oh, such a good incisive pass there from De Bruyne, and Zane very nearly able to get on the end of it. It's a good job that Bradley Collins was nice and alive here. Once again, the movement off the ball. Side now, up against Akins. Sliding it in for Kyle Walker. An inviting cut back, but Kieran Wallace with Silva. And clip behind for a corner. And the uh, magnificent seven they got against Rotherham. Harness trying to get back. Zane has it. Side netting. Oh, he's selfish here. Anyway, Zane, once he checks back onto his right foot. And it's Scott Fraser to Lucas Aikens, the former Stevenage. Of Zane. And there were options at getting it back here. Finding Aikens. Aikens getting in the way. Here's Boyce. Two old war horses who've been around the block. Yeah. Deli can we get on the end of that? Brayford gets back there in the nick of time and clears away. Finding Silva. Mares finds the bone, but he finds himself in an offside position. Well, there's no real complaints from Riyad Mahrez, which probably tells you that he, he knows he's offside. Sinchenko. Put out by Harness. Arrived for the League One side. Allen. Oh, Jeremy Allen didn't have too many alternatives for City. Players were closing in on him. Gundogan, far's wide. Silver across the face of goal. Dug out by Hutchinson. There's no City player gambling there. You've got to expect Silver to try and get that ball in and, and pick someone out. Sane's able to try and get that ball in and, and pick someone out. Sane's in behind here, he's onside this time. Door. Here's Lucas Aikens. Uh, Deuce. And it trickles wide. And this great movement off the ball from David Silva. It's not always what Silva does in possession, it's what he's willing to do. Scott Fraser. And the ball in toward the Bruyne. Sliding one through, turn on his run. Loose pass from him, Harness gets onto it, Boyce. Forward. Well, they do look threatening, they have created that great chance for Harness. Speaking of threat. Zane. Jesus going near. Short to Mares. Back to De Bruyne. In the wind prodding it back to Zane, it's a delightful ball. And it's the City second. Followed in by Gabriel Jesus, but it was that lovely pass to unlock Burton Albion initially that was their undoing. Well, Sane has switched from the left to the right, it's actually Lucas Aikens that switches off here. He's a safety ball watch, if you don't stay with your runners, you're going to get caught out. Sane is definitely onside, Aikens is badly caught out, it's just the quick reactions of Jesus. Gets to that ball ahead of three Burton defenders, but it's simple football, give and go for... It's David Silva, who no unsurprisingly has played a part in both goals. Riding in behind here, Leroy Zanek. Now Gundogan. David Silva putting it on the plate for Gabriel Jesus, who fires it in off the post. And Manchester City have three on 34 minutes. Well, this is what the quality side that City are can do to you. That 1-0, you think, well, we're fairly comfortable, we've coped pretty well. And then suddenly, bang, bang, you're 3-0 down. They're not happy, Burton. They feel that David Silva is offside when this ball is played his way. That's what the Burton defenders are appealing for. Actually, there is an argument to say he did look. Hey. 
we can uh, double check and make sure and Paul Tierney is in the hot seat back at Stockley Park tonight he's had a look swept in by Sinchenko well it's his first goal he barely celebrates I think we know why he didn't mean it but it is a fourth for Manchester City oh, if you're going to get a cross wrong make sure it loops over the goalkeeper into the corner, everything's going City's way. There has been some poor defending from Burton Albion. Giving City to score, but this is just a, a miscued cross. Bradley Collins just maybe what? Fraser. De Bruyne. Just popped up to Leroy Zane. Zane. Oh, he's made a mess of that clearance. What improvisation by Riyad Mahrez, he nearly squeezed it in. And great athleticism from Bradley Collins, but an example of the intelligence of Kevin De Bruyne. If he played the ball towards Jesus, he was offside, he holds on to it. He's waiting for Sane to make his run, who is... Brayford there to clear that. Sinchenko does shoot this. The City fans want Sinchenko to shoot, he crosses. Gundogan. Mares, let alone a side uh, mid-table in League One. And the gap, Zinchenko. Well, Pep Guardiola set from Gabriel Jesus, one from De Bruyne, and one from Zinchenko. Praise the boys. Uh, they have not sat down. Yes, we are four 0 behind, but there's not a lot that they have done. They, too much, you know. Uh, it's uh, no shame to uh, come here and be on the wrong end of a set in Albia. So now, what's up next? Leroy Zane looking to get in immediately in the opening seconds of this second half. Oh, he should have tried to cross first time. Looks like he's trying to take this ball down. Once again, his movement is excellent. Brayford and Harness both ball watching. Who uh, rather scuffed in his first Hetty had goal here against Rotherham at the weekend. Also, uh, an Gundogan. line in the first ten minutes of the second half. De Bruyne. The offside flags in a moment because Burton are in opposition territory and they have it with Lucas Aikens. Not for Gundogan. You can see the run. Aikens with the cut back to Scott Fraser. It's not an easy opportunity for him, but we saw from him in the first half he is willing to get forward to support Lucas Aikens to, to get hold of the ball. Aikens in the wall. Is that a... De Bruyne. Get his teeth into, and he's done well. The Northern Ireland international looking for the run of Allen. No score of the fourth. Silva. Up some wonderful passes. There's Jesus, and there's a hat trick for Gabriel Jesus. Manchester City hit five on the night, and three of those for the promising young Brazilian. Well, once again, David Silva heavily involved. Just the weight of his forward pass. I mentioned the first half how he brings the best out of his teammates. The weight of the forward pass means that Mares can have a little look and can pick out who he wants to. He can decide how he wants to cross this ball. It's a brilliant little dink, and Jesus, as he does so, he gets away from defenders. For a player so young. To City this season once more. <laughs> oh, since Pep Guardiola's been in charge here. <laughs> that was fair, fizzed across. Could have gone anywhere. It's away to safety for now, anyway. That's a fabulous ball, and there's just a line of Burton defenders. And oh, Jesus could be in for another one here. Decent save by Collins first time, but it's rolled in. Phil Foden with his second goal in four days here at the Etihad. And Manchester City have six. Well, he couldn't really miss Phil Foden when the ball came his way. Only just off the bench gets his goal. But once again, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Just little give and go. It's great movement off the ball. Defenders once again caught ball watching. It's not the greatest finish from Jesus. Gets a bit of good fortune coming back off the... Rosane on side, there's the cutback, and over the bar from David Silva, an unlikely let off there. Nice human, an incredible miss with player of such quality. Look at the pressure on the ball, Burton.
player who is all about playing move football. Speaking of movement, is Leroy Sane has kept himself onside, he's popped it in, and that's a delightful goal from Manchester City, who are running right at the Etihad now. How many could this be? That's a great ball in by Sane, but again the movement of Jesus to get into goal scoring positions and how quickly he realises that there's pace on the ball, he's just got to help it on, he's onside for definite... Jesus, already responsible for four of the City seven, now Mares, and there's another one. Kyle Walker hits an eighth for Manchester City. I'd say it's a great pick out for Riyad Mahrez, but Walker does incredibly well because... He scores with his right foot, the ball coming across his body. Easy to take it with your left, so to adjust and tuck it home. It's a centre forward finish by the right back. Again, how high up the pitch. At the moment, the goal difference is eight, but they have to make that, make that nine. Riyad Mahrez wasn't going to miss out. And Riyad Mahrez makes it nine. Well, he has that broad smile, a smile because he made him miss the mess of the first attempt. Actually, he scored the, city score the first attempt. 26, it breaks kindly for him, and he manages to stab it in at the second.